Well, I thought I would show you the results of the um, what I'm calling the snake trap. Uh, basically, it's uh, it's the uh, bird netting laid around the perimeter of my house. Well, you're looking at a snake skeleton right there, part of him there. Um, I didn't see them in time to uh, to get them out if it was a good snake um, they were already deteriorated when I saw them so uh, I don't know exactly what kind it was but um, my dog was limping uh, a couple of weeks ago had a had a bad uh, rear leg and there was a mark on it like a, a bite could have been a spider but could have been a, a snake also we gave him a bunch of Benadryl. He he's fine now, but anyway, it could have been that. Let me uh, bring you over here. As I was saying, they that is number two right there. The remnants of number two, number two snake that was caught in the trap. These are the only two that I've seen, and these are hard to hard to spot um, because they've deteriorated. Usually I can smell them. I mean, uh, when, when I'm one of them gets in there and dies, you can smell it. It's, it's bad. It smells like a dead snake. A rotting dead snake. So, anyway. Um, but just to show you that it does work. Now, I've, I've done some weed eating, and yes, I got too close, and the weed eater grabbed it. And You know, I, I would like for it to be closer to the house. Uh, and, and there may be some way I, I'm going to figure out about about attaching it to the brick here and, and moving it uh, out of the way. But until I do that, it's where it is and it is doing its job. So if there's any doubt in your mind as to whether or not bird netting can catch a snake, let there be no doubt no more. This is probably number eight or nine or something that I've caught with bird netting. Most of it un unintentional because uh, uh, I put it in, around my chicken pen to keep my chickens inside the inside their fence. They were getting out through the wide gaps in the fence. The um, uh, the bird netting not only uh, is not only keeps them in, keeps the chickens in, but it also is is just almost invisible. You can't even tell it's there, so it's not like it's it's unattractive. Anyway, here it is. Um, two snakes didn't make it. They tried to crawl through my trap. And I will get more, I'm sure. I'll, make, I'll probably show them to you when I get them. But bird netting around your home, if there's a snake problem, or around your chicken coop, if there's a snake problem, uh, can, uh, can catch them. I've never seen a chicken get caught in them. In, in the bird netting, so, and I've had it laying on the ground. I've watched them walk over it over uh, time and time again. I've never seen a chicken get caught in it. So, I, you know, I, I don't think, even if they did, I mean, you're going to be looking at your chickens every day anyway. It'd be, you'd, you could get them out. But um, bird netting, I believe in it. It is good stuff for, uh, for this purpose. Thought I'd show it to you, and I will, uh, this won't be the last one. I'll show you some more. I don't know what kind of snakes those were. Both of them were small, but copperheads aren't very big. Copperheads don't get big like a big rat snake. So these look like look to be you know a foot, foot and a half long. Uh, so it could very well be that they were uh, poisonous. Don't know. Didn't get to them in time to to see. They were already gone when I pretty much decomposed when I saw them. Anyway, that's it snakes catching snakes around the home it works and we are gone